Good day everyone. You are welcome to another exercise of practical pharmacognosy 3. That is PCG 412. This is the last exercise for schedule 3. So for this exercise 3, we will be looking at preparative thin layer chromatography of purine isolate. We will be using the following outline in the course of this slide cast. The objectives of this exercise are to purify and separate the components of purine isolate using PrEP TLC and thereafter recover the isolated compound of interest which is mixed with silica gel. At the end of this schedule, students will be able to carry out PrEP TLC for the separation and isolation of compounds from purified extracts and also know how to recover the desired compound that is mixed with silica. PrEP TLC is a useful, less expensive isolation technique that allows for rapid separation of the components in a mixture. It is suitable for the separation and isolation of small amounts of compounds, usually larger than what we have in analytical TLC, therefore helps in the purification of small quantities of samples. PrEP TLC can be broadly divided into capillary driven classical type and the first flow technique. But our focus in this exercise is on the capillary driven classical PrEP TLC. This classical PrEP TLC can separate compounds on a micro scale of about 0.5 to 25 milligram and the macro scale of up to 50 to 100 milligram. It takes practice to determine which method work best for you depending on your project. Samples to be separated are often applied as tiny spots to form a long horizontal streak in the application zone. The purine alkaloids in tea consists mainly of caffeine, also present are theobromine and theophylline. In this schedule, we started by isolating purine alkaloids from a tea sample using butner funnel. Thereafter, the ideal mobile phase that can separate the identical compounds in the mixture was determined using analytical TLC. Now, exercise three is to further purify the purine isolate using PrEP TLC. This will help to separate its components and isolate our desired compound. So the materials and apparatus needed in this experiment includes the purine isolate, silica gel coated plates, chromatography tank, capillary tubes and others, as well as solvents. Procedure Retention factor is characteristic of a compound and is constant only when all experimental conditions are constant, that is in exact chromatographic conditions. These conditions include type of stationary phase, mobile phase, time of development, room temperature, methods of visualization and their details, oven temperature if applicable, and other details. The essential experimental details used for this experiment are as listed below. There are steps to follow in running a PrEP TLC. Before running a PrEP TLC, you have to first determine the ideal mobile phase by analytical TLC. This image is analytical TLC of the reference standards. As you can see, this is caffeine and this is theophylline. So, the mobile phase that gave this separation is what we are using for this PrEP TLC. Next, before you prepare your plates, you have to saturate the chamber, or that's what we call the tank. You pour the mobile phase just enough to reach the ledge. This is the ledge, say about the level of 0.5 cm. Then you seal the tank with the lid to enable it to saturate for about 10 minutes. Then you go ahead and prepare your plates. Using pencil, you mark 1 cm from the bottom for small plates or 1 inch from the bottom. That is your origin. Then from the top, you also mark one inch 
that's the solvent front. Then you leave one cm from the left and one cm on, on the right because spotting to the end of the plate can cause the solvent front to migrate unevenly, which you do not want. After preparing the plate, you go ahead and load your samples. So, you prepare a relatively concentrated sample and apply small spots closely on a straight line to form a horizontal streak using a capillary tube. Once completely dry, gently put the loaded plate into the saturated tank and seal the chamber with the lid to enable the plate to develop. When the mobile phase has reached the solvent front, development is complete. Once development is complete, carefully remove the plates from the tank and immediately mark the solvent front and allow the plate to air dry for one to two minutes. Then visualize the plates under UV lamp. I want to mention here that you can decide to use the staining option, one of which is spraying with 1% berberin, an alkaloid. It helps for the visualization under UV light. Now, when the plate is under UV light, use your pencil to mark out the band on the plates which contains your desired isolated compound. Then carefully use a spatula to scrape the band. This is also, you can see it here as it's being scraped, just carefully scrape the band. And when you are done scraping, you put the scrapings into a dry, clean five mil beaker. There are different methods to retrieve your compound at this point. Nevertheless, washing with a polar solvent is usually sufficient. So wash with a polar solvent and filter with Wattman paper. Another option is to sonicate the scrapings in a polar solvent or one which causes the compound to elute fast on TLC. Alternatively, place the scraping in a fitted funnel and flush with a polar solvent. Then you go ahead and concentrate the filtrate because that is where your compound is to obtain your purified compound. Then prep TLC is complete. There is usually better resolution with analytical TLC. There are different factors that affect the separation and resolution in a prep TLC. And um, what those uh, factors are the thickness of the stationary phase, in this case silica, the size of the plates because it's larger, the particle size of the silica gel is more coarse in prepped in a preparative TLC, and also the amount of sample that is loaded on the plates. So those factors, especially the larger particle size and the particle size distribution, as well as overloading of the plate with the sample are uh, what makes PrEP TLC generally inferior to analytical TLC. Now talking about overloading, overloading can be by increasing the sample volume, that is volume overloading, or by increasing the sample concentration, that is concentration overloading. However, concentration overloading is preferable if sample solubility allows it. Why this affects PrEP TLC is because volume overloading causes the eluted band to be significant, significantly broadened, while concentration overloading causes the band to be asymmetric. It's important to take the following precautions when running your PrEP TLC, which also applies to thin layer chromatography generally. Do not touch the silica with your bare hands, preferable to use hand gloves. Make sure that you do not apply pressure when drawing the pencil line to avoid scraping the silica gel. Use small uniform applications 
that means your streak there should be no space in between and make sure it's on a straight line on a thin straight line and it's uniform don't let the solvent fronts reach the very top of the plate that will lead to overdevelopment in that case you cannot calculate the rf and protect your skin from uv lamp as well as appropriately dispose all wastes in conclusion prep tlc is useful in the quick separation of purine isolates the technique was used in this exercise for the purification and isolation of caffeine i recommend the following textbooks and references which i used in the preparation of this slide cast url link to a demonstration video will be provided on lms platform which you can watch for a visual guide and to have a lasting memory of PrEP TLC. Thank you for your attention and stay safe.